There's a really cool story in the book of Genesis. And it's a very short story, but it's a very profound story. It goes like this. Enoch walked with God, and then he was no more. <laughs> Can you put your name into that story? Do you walk with God? People often ask me, what is the end purpose of Christianity? And I've talked about this before. It's restored relationship, right relationship with God. A lot of people think it's being a really good person. And so why do I need Jesus to be a really good person? It's not what it is. God produces great things through our life as a result of our restored relationship to God. It's not goodness, though. It's much deeper. It's much more profound than goodness. It's true, genuine love. It's the ability to touch a leper, to look a prostitute in the eyes and say, you have value. It's the love that only Jesus can have and only Jesus can produce through us. The purpose of Christianity is not to be a good person. The, pur the purpose of Christianity, because the temple, temple curtain was torn from top to bottom, and the Holy Spirit now dwells within us, is to be like Enoch, to walk with God. And one day, like Enoch, if we have not fallen asleep before Christ comes to get his bride, we too will be like Enoch. We will walk with God and then we will be no more. It's really important to understand the fundamental difference between what the world tries to perceive Christianity is versus what it really is. It's not a bunch of people trying to be good. It's a bunch of people clothed in the righteousness of Jesus, transformed by his Holy Spirit into people who, because they walk with God, learn how to love and see people genuinely for who they are as people made in the image of their Father. So my question for you is, what in your life would have to change for it to be said of you that you walk with God like Enoch? What in your life is the Holy Spirit asking you to do so that way it can be said of you that like Enoch, you walk with God.